Hello everybody, uh, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. If you are new, we have the first episode linked somewhere on the video or in the description below. Uh, let's play some KOTOR, am I right? Okay, hi. Yeah, um, last time I tried this, it didn't work out. So I've decided instead of streaming this, I'm just going to record this part until I succeed. So it'll be less waste time for others. So yeah. What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Uh uh. No way, you're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards, if you live long enough for them to question you.
On it. Done. On it. Done. On it. Done. On it. Done. Maso, Gino Morirani Lubo, Tonkin Ma, no Kunetsag. Ichuta, Yun Patisa, King Banik Chalora Kun. Tava, Yun Patisa, Chiwa Aita Kang Ki Giokaku. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. That is no excuse for incompetence! I gave very specific orders that were not followed! I'm going to summon the guards and report you to your superiors. What? How dare you speak to me like that? I could ask Dalek to have you flayed alive for such insolence. What? But help! Assassins! Guards! Help!
can I do? Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. I'm here. Damn no Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, 
Look what we got here. Thieves and a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bomb's dead drop and we'll kill us all. detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those shit! Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Thank you. 
Damage is critical. The hawk won't hold. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Okay. <laughs> 
I hope you all know I'm living for this, and I don't care if I'm loud because that was hard. Tantooine. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here, for now at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of the entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. This is no trap. The Council just wants to talk to you. There is much that needs to be discussed. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? 
Surely the entire council can feel the strength of the force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Such pride, such arrogance. <sighs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. As are many who are not given proper training, Master Vrook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. You got it. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's... it's... it's just gone. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Huh?
I'm here. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. You have a strong affinity with the Force. With such power comes great responsibility and danger. You may wish to deny what you are, but the Council cannot turn a blind eye. Neither will Darth Malak. Your strength is a threat to him. In time he will learn of you and the Sith will hunt you down. It is inevitable. Defeating the Sith is the only way to save yourself. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. 
You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First. I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions in everything you do. You must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. That is not correct, Apprentice. There is return when... So that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post the next video. Drop a like if you feel like it too. Also remember to, ch to check me out on Twitch where I live stream these games. And drop a comment if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.